In this video, we are going to learn how to create a church flyer like this. A link to download the resources used will be given in the description so you can check them out. I'll click on Photoshop and I'll create a new document. I'll be using a 4x4 inch document and next up is I'll click on create. First off, I would like to create new guides. I'll be creating 2% mark both on my vertical and on my horizontal axis. I will create also for my horizontal axis with the 2% mark and 98% mark. After doing this, I would like to add a gradient feel to my design. So I'll come over to my gradient feel and I've already set the codes. I will just pick this one. I'll click on OK. I'll take some values here, pick it to radial and reverse. I'll click OK. Next off is I'll bring this image into my design and after bringing it in like that, I'll transform it out just like that. Click OK. I'll set it to soft light or I can use multiply and I'll reduce the fill a little bit so I can have the words and the text out a bit. So after doing that, let's set it to 40. Next off is I will pick my text tool and I'll be using the font objective medium. So let's just use a church, a just a random church name here presently. I'll type D Glory Grace Chapel. I'll close up the tracking to 10. So yes, so we can have the tracking just like that. I'll press Ctrl A on my keyboard to center it and align it just like that. I'll press Ctrl D, raise it up a bit, create a new layer and pick my text tool again. This time I'll be using the font called Master of Bricks. So I'll pick this and I'll type present. So after typing present, I'll click OK and center it also control a and i'll center it on my document i'll press control d to deselect i'll click on my glory grace chapel control j it and raise it up a bit i'll bring it down just like that to this place pick my text tool and click on it this time i will be typing an evening of worship after doing that i'll click ok Press Ctrl T to transform it in a little bit, just like that. Click OK, Ctrl A to center it, just like that, and press Ctrl D. Next off is I'll create a new layer. Click on my text tool, and I'll be using the font called DCC Ash this time. So this time I'll be typing the main theme of the program, Wonders of Worship. I'll set my alignment to center alignment. I can increase my tracking to probably like 25 or oh, let's go yeah let's do 30, 25 I'll click OK pick my move to press ctrl T and I'll transform it out like that I'll press enter press ctrl A and I'll center it like that press ctrl D I'll double click on this and I will increase the tracking up a bit just like that so let's do 26 Yes, something like this. I'll click OK. Press Ctrl T again to transform it out a bit. Just like that. I'll click OK. Next up is I'll press Ctrl G on my keyboard to duplicate. Pick the second layer, double click it, and change the color to yellow. So I'll be using the color FFCE00. So that's the yellow color I'm using. I'll click, copy it, click OK, and click OK. Next up is I'll use my arrow keys on my keyboard to bring them down a little bit. Let me zoom in so you can see. And use the right arrow key to shift it a bit just like that. I'll right click on the yellow layer, click my blending options and next off is I'll add a drop shadow to it. Just a minimal drop shadow. You can just click reset to default and just have a minimal drop shadow. Just add little to it and you are good to go. Press Ctrl O to align back pick the two layers we can group them and name these wonders so that's the main theme of the program we can click on the evening of worship now and bring it here just like that 
and now i'll be changing the color of the evening of worship i'll double click here also i'll pick this place and i'll change the color to yellow we are still using the same yellow so that's why i copied it the first time i'll click ok click the two of them together align them press ctrl g on my keyboard press ctrl a also and align it to the document i'll press ctrl d I'll press Ctrl T to transform it out a little bit, just like that, and I'll click OK. You can decide to raise it up if you want to, just like that. Next off is I'll pick my rectangle. So now we are going to be typing the name of the people that are going to be ministering at the program. Since it's a worship program, this program was is a fictional program, is not happening at anywhere. So that's why I'm just going to be using these ministers for educational purposes only. So after I'll make the first rectangle white just like that, press Ctrl G on my keyboard. We can change the color of the second one to somewhere around red. And next off is I'll pick the white one and bring it down also with my arrow keys. I'll also shift it to the left just like that. So until when I'm okay with it, I'll just keep aligning. I think I'm okay here. So we can pick the two of them and group it. And call it image image one so next off is i will duplicate the four images using ctrl j on my keyboard so i'll duplicate it four times just like that ctrl j again so we have three then we have four so i have something like this next off is i'll open the first group click on this and now let's start adding the images let's add nathaniel Bassi first I drop him into the design transform it in the picture just like that click ok bring it to where i have it and i'll right click and click on create clipping marks so it gets marks in to the rectangle so you can just align it basically the way you want so you are okay with it so let me just align just like that just make sure that your image covers the old red i'll close this and open the other group again bring in my next image let's use Messi Chinwo's image I'll transform it in just like that click OK and also something just like that I'll right click create clipping marks I'll follow the same procedure for everything just like that I'm going to fast forward it i'm going to follow the same procedure i'll see you at the other side now it's time to add the text of the ministers to it so i'll pick this place and i'll let me zoom in just like that so first off is i will type nathaniel i will change the color to white just like that i'll be using the same font just like that and i'll click ok let's just reduce the font size to somewhere around four something like this i'll place it here nicely here press ctrl t you can transform it in a little bit press ok i'll duplicate it and bring it down just like that and this time press ctrl t again and reduce it a little bit more i'll click ok and this time i'll change this to music minister i'll ctrl a it and i'll change the color to yellow also just like that and i'll click ok I can pick the two of them together, align it, press Ctrl G, and rename this to text. So I'll pick the two, the first image and that one, and I'll align it together. I'll press Ctrl G on my keyboard, raise the second text layer up, and group the first one together. I can name it one, so I know that everything here comprises of the first one. Yes. So after doing that. My text, I will bring the second text down to this place. So once you have one like that, we have the whole image and everything just like that. I will change this text here to Messi Chinwo. Just like that. I will click OK. 
I'll align the two of them together and make sure it's aligned. Once I align them just like that, I'll click on it and I'll pick the image and the text together. Make sure it's also aligned. Group them together and we can name these two. We can also take this text just like that and duplicate it and raise it up to the third one just like that so let's just and bring the third text here so now we have the whole four images together let me zoom out so now we can align everything together so we can decide to bring the images together at once so basically i want to shift in the images together so that we won't have too much space and we can have spaces later by the end of the design so i'll bring it together like that and i'll align the spaces with between them i'll group them now press ctrl a on my keyboard and align it to the center perfectly just like that i'll click ok and i can decide to raise it up or press ctrl t to enlarge the text and images together at once so we can name this now to images or so after doing something like that it's time for the date and the location so next up is i'll pick my text too and i'll type 14th just like that so after doing that i'll click ok i'll pick my move to press ctrl t and expand it just like this let me zoom in so we can have something like this we can raise the image up a bit also so i'll have the 14th here just like that i'll double click on the 14th to change the tracking to bring it down to zero i'll click ok you can also use minus 10 if you want to after doing that i'll click ok i'll pick my test tool again and this time i will type october 2021 I am backdating it because there is no program as such. 2021. I click OK. Press Ctrl T and expand it just like that. I will try to make sure that the two of them are balanced together. Press Ctrl and hold the two layers together. Align it and increase the October a bit. So we can have the two of them aligned like that. I'll double click the October and change the color to yellow also. After changing it to yellow, I'll pick the two of them together and group them. Once I group them, I can rename this to date. Next up is I'll pick my rectangle tool and I'll draw a diminished rectangle, something small just like this. So after doing that, can leave it here just like that you can decide to zoom in and reduce the rectangle a bit just like that i'm going to reduce my own rectangle so after reducing my rectangle just like i'll click ok press ctrl to trim out pick my text tool again this time i'll create a new layer and i will type my other information so let's just type seven o'clock pm that's when the program starts seven o'clock pm prompt I'll click enter you can add your location here and probably the street name on the next line you can also add any other other infos here other information that you have to put on the flyer you can add it here you can change this other info to yellow just like that I click ok Next up is I'll select all together and I would like to change the this tracking a bit. So let's increase this to 6. Sorry, that's too much. 4.5. Yes, I think I'm good with that. I'll click OK. I'll zoom in this time. I'll press Ctrl T on my keyboard. I'll press Ctrl T on my keyboard now and I'll expand it just like that. I click OK and bring it here. You can still expand it a little bit more. I select the two of them together, the three, the date, the rectangle, and the location. Everything 
and I will align them just like this. Align the spacing between them. I'll press Ctrl G and we can name this call to action. So next up is I'll press Ctrl A and I'll center both of them. I'll click Ctrl O to press Ctrl D now. I can bring this down a bit. Press Ctrl T and reduce it just like that. And click OK. And like this, we've been able to create a nice church flyer like this. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll be dropping more videos very soon.